Angela Katwa, otherwise known as Jurassic Girl. Hello, and I'm Sarita Katwa, is known as Mini Jurassic Girl. And today we're going to practice making the three rocks of the rock cycle out of sweets. They smell tasty. I wish mm. I could eat them now. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Better get cracking on then. <laughs> So to start off with, we've chosen three colours from the bag of sweets to actually start to make our three different types of rocks. So the first thing you need to do is obviously unwrap the sweets. And secondly, you're going to start chopping them up into tiny little pieces like this. These sweets are very hard to cut. Yeah, obviously, so. make sure there's adult supervision if you're using a knife. And Sarita's just using a normal um, kind of table knife that we would use if we were eating dinner. What do you think they are representing? These chopped rocks. Up? That's right. We talked about sedimentary rocks last time. Can you remind us? Sedimentary rock is made from other kinds of different kind of rock, which is broken up. Something has to happen to these broken bits. They've got to come together to form a new rock. And so our hands are going to be those processes which compress these broken bits of rock into a new rock Right, should we hold our first rock type up of the rock cycle? We have a sedimentary rock. Look at that. Cool, yeah. huh? Yeah. Now, of course, in the rock cycle, the rocks are moving around the earth all the time, changing. And one of the next rocks in the rock cycle is called a metamorphic rock. A metamorphic rock is when it gets heated up with pressure and heat and it changes completely. Deep inside the earth where sedimentary rocks can actually be buried, there's intense heat and pressure and it completely changes the rock into a new rock. We're gonna put our rock inside a plastic bag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gradually squeeze our rock with our hands. You can even bash it like that. that this is literally what's happening inside the earth. These sedimentary rocks, when they get buried deep inside, are subject to intense pressure and the heat of our hands actually starts to melt. And there is our second type of rock, our metamorphic rock, which was formed from our sedimentary rock, which was subject to intense heat and pressure using our hands. I wish I could taste a bit. I don't know. I personally wouldn't eat metamorphic rocks, but you can have a go if you want. <laughs> How is it? Warm. I like it. Okay, fair enough. There you go. Metamorphic rocks are the taste. I think I rocks. can taste every single <laughs> taste. So now we have our metamorphic rock, we're now going to make the next and final rock of the rock cycle. It's igneous. Igneous rocks are called from hot flaming lava. Mm, that's a good way to describe it. And what we're going to do with our kind of metamorphosed sweets here is we've made a little foil tray and we're going to put our metamorphic rock into that foil tray and very carefully heat it up in a frying pan on the stove. Now, of course, this part of the activity involves heat and the sweets will get incredibly hot. So we need to ensure that an adult is supervising this part of the activity, right? Uh -huh. So here we are just about to make our igneous rocks. And of course, safety is the main concern here because it's a very hot frying pan. We've put our little foil trays into the frying pan and they're heating up. So we just need to be really careful about that. Our metamorphic rocks on a plate here and we're going to put them into our foil trays and I'll use some tongs just to be safe. And is it going to start melting? I don't know. I think we've just got to wait and see, see what happens. <laughs> That's part of science, isn't it? So Sarita, what do you think is happening to our metamorphic rocks in the heat? Hmm, it looks like they're melting like lava and then popping. 
You can see bubbles, can't you? Look at my one, which is round. You can see like little bubbles popping. Yeah, it looks like the tin foil is a a a weird shaped bowl, and the sweet inside looks like a a volcano soup which smoke comes out of it. <laughs> So now we have our igneous rock. It looks like a chocolate pool of lava. It's pretty effective, isn't it? Yeah. And we can't see any traces of what our sedimentary rock or metamorphic rock look like in there, can we? So to wrap up, let's go over our three rocks of the rock cycle that we've made from sweets. First up is sedimentary rock. Second rock of the rock cycle is this one. Metamorphic. That's right and what we've done is we've taken our sedimentary rock and applied heat and pressure with our hands to form this new rock. And finally is this one. Igneous rock. And those are the three rocks of the rock cycle. Sedimentary, metamorphic and igneous. Brilliant, well done Sarita. So, Mummy, can I eat the sedimentary rock now? Oh, go on then. Oh, um, she's on a sugar high. <laughs>